What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So usually on Tuesdays I do kind of more of a SketchUp Essentials tutorial where I dive in a little deeper on a SketchUp process or something like that. But uh, I'm running a little behind this morning, so we're just going to create a video where we use hidden geometry to create a shape that has a shape that has like a structure with like a skin stretched across it. And then next week I may talk a little bit more about hidden geometry. But let's go ahead and just jump into this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to create a shape that is So basically what it is is it's a frame with kind of a skin stretched over the top of it. And really anytime you have something like this, the two things you need to focus on is you need to focus on a way to get the skin or the face drawn and you also need to focus on a way to get the frame drawn. So, and a lot of time that's going to be two different things. But what we're going to do is we're going to use hidden geometry in order to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off and we're just going to draw a cylinder. So in this case, I think a 24-sided cylinder should be fine. Um, and uh, it needs to be a little bit bigger because this is kind of a larger shape. So maybe it has like a, let's say a 12-foot radius just like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that circle once you've drawn it and you want to draw it standing up like this, but you're just going to push pull it. Um, and we'll push pull it to a length of let's call it 150 feet. So basically what you've got now is you've got this cylinder right in here. Well what we're going to need to do is we're going to need a way to draw that kind of frame along this face. And so what we're going to do is we're going to turn hidden geometry on. So you're going to go up to view and you're going to select hidden geometry and basically what hidden geometry is, is in a SketchUp model, um, all the curved faces are actually flat faces. So all the faces in SketchUp are flat. It's just a question of, like if you took this circle and uh, you drew like a 45-sided circle, for example, or a 48-sided circle. So if I drew a 48-sided circle here and then push-pulled it, whoops, just like this, you can see that it's gonna have 48 segments along the side instead of 24 like this one does. And so what turning hidden geometry on does is it makes it so you can actually see the geometry that makes up these curved faces. So if you turn it back off and then you click on one of these faces, you can just select the whole thing. So anyway, but what we can do with this is we can use this to kind of inference different things and do other stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the end of our circle and we're going to come in here and make a bunch of copies of it. So we're going to make a copy right here and then uh, you're going to use copy modes, multiple copy option and you're going to type in something like times 23 or times 45 or times 50. There we go. So you just want kind of you just want this to kind of go along this face. So now what you have is you have a whole bunch of individual square faces just like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that to form we're going to use that to form the kind of front curve of our object. So first thing you're going to want to do, you can erase these extras that you create over here is you're gonna to wanna to come in here, you're gonna right click on this and you're gonna make it a group. And the only reason you're gonna make it a group is because you don't want your geometry to merge right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna draw a line kind of coming along this curve right here, um, all the way down, whoops, all the way down from corner to corner until you hit this point right here. So the point that's kind of straight along your bottom axis right here. And so what that's doing is that's giving you that front curve of your um, of your object and remember the first thing we need to do is get a face in here so the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna draw this front curve just like this and if you want to you can come in and hide your object now um, or actually don't hide it quite yet we'll come in here and unhide it you can right click on it and unhide it and you can see how when you hide it with hidden geometry on it doesn't actually go away it kind of shows up in here uh, if you turn hidden geometry off you won't see it anymore if you turn hidden geometry back on then you will see it so anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to use the copy or the move tool in copy mode to make a copy of this. So just select your line, type M to use the move tool, and then click on this point and hit the control key to turn on copy mode. You're going to move this over here and then you're going to scale it in place. So you're going to flip it just like this. So you're going to flip it to negative one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to move it back so that its point is right at the top of this 
um, shape right here. And so now what we're going to do, because we've got our general shape in here, and what we could do is we could try to merge this with this geometry and all of that stuff, but really you don't want to do that because it's just going to be kind of a pain in the butt. So what you're going to do instead is you can go ahead and turn that hidden geometry off for right now. But we're going to draw two lines in here and then we're going to use a tool called Curvaloft to create our actual face. And I'm going to go ahead and save a copy of this. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the tool called Curvaloft, which you can get by going to the Sketchication Extension Warehouse. And then you're going to use the Skinning of Shapes option. So basically what the Skinning of Shapes option does is it will take a frame like this one and it'll actually build a skin along that face so if you come in here and you select this just like this and then you click this skinning option what it's going to do is it's going to come in here and it's going to kind of it's going to come in here and it's basically going to say okay if i was to build a skin along these faces this is what it would look like so in this case this is all we really need so all you need to do with uh, Fredo 6's tools, once you've done something like this, is just click anywhere off of this object where the checkbox shows up, and it'll create that face. So you can see now what it did is it came in here and it made a face. All right, so what you can do is once you come in here and you create this face with Curvaloft like this, uh, the next thing you can do is you can actually come in here and you can, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that hidden geometry in order to uh, create a face along here. Or uh, not a face, but we're going to use that to create our lines along here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to come in here and I'm going to make a copy of this by hitting Control C, and then I'm going to copy or create or uh, paste it in place outside your group. So you can see now I selected that line, I copied it, and then I made my copy outside of this group. Now I'm going to use an extension called Weld in order to make that a single line just like this and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm gonna go ahead and make this framework now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that existing hidden geometry that I have in here in order to do that and so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this line in a group just like this so or actually I'm going to copy my geometry and then put it in a group so you're just gonna select this line and then you're just gonna use kind of this framework that's already in here and you're just gonna create a copy and then you're going to type in times 48 or whatever your number of copies is going to be. And then you're going to hide this. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to take this line. We're going to copy that. And then we're going to go outside our group and we're going to paste that in place as well. And so when we do that, what that does is that intersects with all these faces in here, just like this. And so now what you've got is you've got kind of your framework and we're actually going to delete that line out and I'll tell you why um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this geometry just so you can see what was created so you can see how I created this and it runs all the way along the face of this model well I'm going to go ahead and put this in a group for right now and then I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to unhide everything again and then I'm going to do the same thing with the line over here so I'm going to hide this circle I'm going to come inside this face and I'm going to copy this line and then paste it in place. So edit, paste in place, and then I'm gonna weld that line as well. Um, and you can find that weld extension in the Sketchication Warehouse. But then all you need to do is you need to just do the same thing where you come in here and you create 40 whatever copies, 48 copies. And then you're probably gonna need to go inside this face and do the same thing, just copy this piece, and then edit, paste in place, and that's gonna go ahead and it's gonna cut your lines just like that. So you can see how I use this particular segment in order to uh, kind of cut that line off. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back in here, we're gonna hide our group of lines, or we're gonna hide our face, we're gonna hide our other group of lines. So this group right here, and then we're gonna drag our mouse across these and you can go in Actually, you can probably just leave that. We'll come in here and we'll select this and we'll make this a group as well. And the reason these are two different groups is because we're going to use an extension called Lines to Tubes in order to come in here and create tubes along the face of these lines. So you're going to double click inside your group, select everything, and I believe the Lines to Tubes extension can be found in the Sketchication Warehouse as well. But you're just going to come in here and you're going to create a whole bunch of four inch tubes along the lines right here. So it's gonna generate those and it's gonna take just a second. 
So you can see what that did is that came in here and that created kind of a framework. Well now we're gonna come in here, we're gonna unhide, oops. We're gonna unhide the rest of our geometry and we're gonna do kind of the same thing. So in this case, I'm in the group that has all the lines running the other way. So I'm just gonna run lines to tubes again and create four inch tubes along the whole face of that one. So, and it's gonna take just a second, but um, the reason I broke everything up into two separate groups is because otherwise what it would do is it would take all this geometry and it would merge it together and it would take a really long time for it to, uh, it would take a really long time for it to come in here and create all this different geometry. So now what I've got is I've got half of this structure. So I'm just gonna select everything. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna make it a component and we'll just call it structure half. I'm gonna go ahead and save my structure. And then we'll use the move tool to create a copy of this. And then we'll just flip it. So in this case, you can just flip it across the face. And I usually use the scale tool for this. You can definitely also just flip it, use the mirror across axis options, just kind of a personal preference thing for me. So you're just going to move this back until it kind of intersects right here. And so now what you've got is you've got this kind of lattice work structure with kind of a skin piece on top of it. So now you can just come in here, you can double click and get inside this group with your skin and you can use a material like a glass or a translucent material in order to uh, skin it up just like this. So and you could come in here and you could kind of hide this line. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and I just use the, uh, the erase tool in hide mode. So just hold that shift key and drag your mouse across that in order to hide your geometry. So anyway, that's just kind of a general idea or a general walkthrough of how you would come in here and you would create a structure like this with hidden geometry. So, and remember all you really need is you just need a framework and you need a face in order to create something like this. So anyway, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this? Was it helpful to you? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Um, please remember to click that like button down below if you like this video. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you really like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. In any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.